I will talk a lot in this video about a bunch of different stuff, starting from new leaks, Jason's face being changed, goofy characters in a storyline, destructible environment, purchasable buildings and more and more. So watch until the end to know all the newer details we got on GTA 6 so far. Also subscribe because if you do, I will ask Lucio to kiss you. Thanks and let's go. So starting off here, this new GTA 6 leaks are hectic and looking at this one over here basically you could understand that this is not the GTA 6 for sure as you could already see on my thumbnails because this one is probably AI generated as I would say and this guy before we already saw his leaks, so called leaks, this guy agent is not true for you so he's telling you all the lies on Twitter all the time and we just see them every single day. I don't know why people do that, but we are going through the actual news here. Do you anticipate a GT6 commercial airing at a Super Bowl which takes place in February 11th in Las Vegas? All I'm saying that it would be amazing to see such a thing on the ball as GT6 will be populated even more. Next, what do we have here? Map expected in GTA 6. All I'm gonna say, it's not an expected map, and we already saw the expected map, but it would be cool to see the triangle as some mystery in a GTA 6 story right there. That would be really nice. As I would say, the probably the Bermuda Triangle uh, storyline will be there, but it won't be such a huge map right there, and it will be just a small portion of uh, of it where we will be looking at some small storyline or maybe a DLC in the future. Next up, so here we go with this so-called leaks again. Will there be a cruise ships? And uh, looking at the screenshots, the first one we already saw on the previous tweet, the second one we probably see it's a completely different one, as well as he probably took them from Reddit over here and posted on uh, the on his uh, official uh, on official Twitter on his official Twitter as uh, he claiming that they will be the actual leaks. But I would say this is just AI generated. But yeah, it looks sick. Considering Miami, White City, is the cruise port capital of the US, I would hope there's a decent amount stationary or actual moving, uh, even if off in the distance. Fort Lauderdale is minutes away from Miami and is the yacht capital, lol. Fort La Lauderdale is a uh, is a broad county which is what Leonard County is based on since uh, since the cop cars are completely identical in the trailer, Port Galhorn might actually be fictional Fort Lauderdale instead of what whether people claimed it is. And I'm a Fort Lauderdale native by the way. So yeah, we see a lot of people from the Miami and Florida as itself uh, always in the comments uh, talking about the GT6 and they are claiming a lot of interesting stuff that could happen in the game because they are natives and they could see and understand what the reality will be in the game. Let's go for the next one. To be honest, I was really upset when I saw Jason's image had been changed. So he became just another Michael, Arthur, Nico and Tommy. That's not a bad thing, but the old version of Jason was a type call for a GT6 young redneck guy. Basically, we always played GT6 as either middle-aged white man or an African-American man from the ghetto. Jason's old image was fresh. Guys like that in games and movies are always in small roles. And make no impact on the story almost never. So as uh, and love couple of hot Latina and white redneck was so wild and unusual lol maybe that's why they're changed Jason. Sorry I'm not American only familiar with your culture from movies and games so I apologize if I speak in stereotypes. Next stop is GT6 should have kept uh, uh, should have kept the goofy art characters to a minimal. For real I'm replaying GT4 right now and man uh, how I've missed the serious and deep characters. This has been a completely abandoned in GTA 6 as everyone in that game is fucking Joker. It's like the fucking game that can take itself seriously for more than 5 minutes. Jeez. Thankfully Red Dead Redemption 2 was different and I'm hoping GTA 6 will be more like it. But looking at the trailer it actually doesn't look like that and it might be even worse than that. I'm very happy that sometimes it straight up makes you not care about the character when all they do is say stupid and funny shit. 
Sure, some comic relief is great, to look at a Bruce in GT4 or the Lenny mission in Red Redemption 2, but GT5 really overdid it to the extent as you would long for some serious moments instead of comic relief. Steve Hines, do I look gay? How is the chin? Devin, oh look, how much I fuck? Oh yeah, I got so much pussy. The Chinese, get the boy. Trevor Phillips, we have your boyfriend, Michael DeSanta. It's straight up ridiculous. Next up. How much of the environment should be destructible in GT6? This is of course just a speculation, but what objects or parts of the environment do you guys think will be made destructible? Starting missions from GT5 did allow us to do some minor destructions, but that was it. We couldn't really do that outside of the missions, as it wouldn't it be cool if more parts of the environment were dynamic and could be destroyed with realistic brute force. So what are your speculative ideas and suggestions are? Next stop is, uh, as uh, purchasable buildings, online or not, should have uh, unique interiors. Like I said, in GT Online right now, a nightclub next to the sewers looks exactly like one near the airport. A 10 car garage, even in the desert or industrial area, has the same showroom look as one in the garage next to the beach. Same goes for apartments, it's just location difference which just adds to the linear feel of 5. Prediction, GT6 will have the optional co-o mode. I think it's reasonable to expect a single player mode with a rich story in the cast of characters, multiple protagonists and multiplayer mode. All things in with GT5. But I'm putting it out there and that I think an optional co version of the story between Jason and Lucia is entirely probable. By this I mean you and a friend could beat the storyline together. It is a logical next step for the series and considering each entry adds innovative new feature to the base GT experience, I think this is a good one. Because of this, I also doubt the whole idea that Jason and or Lucia will betray the other, or that Jason is an undercover cop. I'm happy to hear reasons why this may or may not happen, and I don't mind being wrong about this when the game finally comes out. Next stop, things I noticed in the trailer that people might not have seen. A few things just popped out to me that I don't think I've seen many mentions. Hair has dynamic physics. In the short clip where the airboat is riding through the swamp, if you zoom in close, you can see the hair bouncing along as the airboat bounces across the water. There's another scene that shows this, I'm just rambling, and we already noticed that. In the scene where Lucy is hanging out the car window and the car on the left side is recording her, the pickup truck actually swerves out of the way, meaning that unless that's a cutscene, in some capacity NPCs will have dynamic reactions to the things we do in-game. Maybe some have noticed this, but I did not see one repeat NPC model or outfit in the entire trailer, not a single face nor body type. Everybody was different and people are everywhere, so that in itself is insane. I'm almost uh, in almost every scene that has a building, you can see an interior inside of it or outside as the balcony. I know some people have this uh, have been thinking it's a parallax effect in play, but given the recent leak about the AI generation system for interiors, I have full reason to believe that we are going to be able to enter more interiors than we actually expected. I don't know, maybe it's uh, I'm just late, maybe I'm just still enamored by the fact that it's the game looks so damn good. And I see a lot of people saying they noticed this in the breakdown with a while back. I'm sure they were discussed, but it's just wild. Everyone thinks the hype just died down about the game and we just wanted official confirmation lol. I can't be the only one still in Alvi of the trailer, as I'm sick seeing it for the first time. Time. So that's all the information we got on today's video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more, see you in the next one and peace.